Hazur says that the promised Messiah on whom be peace writes in his book Nazul al Masih that God has decreed from the beginning and has declared it as his law and his way that he and his prophets will always triumph. Therefore, as I am his prophet, that is, I am commissioned by him, although without a new law, or a new claim, or a new name. Rather, I have come in the name of that very noble seal of all the prophets, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and from among him, and his manifestation. This is the reason why I say that just as it has been from ancient time, that is, from the era of Adam, peace be upon him, to that of the era of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, the meaning of this verse has always come true. It will yet again come true in my favor. Hazur says, here the verse that the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, is referring to is the verse from the chapter Mujadila of the Holy Quran that Katab Allahu la aghlib anna ana wa rusuli inna allaha kawiyyun aziz this is the verse just a short while ago somebody wrote to me from Pakistan although I do not agree with what this person wrote in the letter because the snapshot taken by the person writing the letter, in my view, this cannot be made a generality. The person who wrote the letter writes that in the literature of the Jamaat and also in the publications of the Jamaat, what needs to be emphasized is that the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, is a Nabiullah, a prophet of Allah. <coughs> and the reason for this is that people hesitate from calling the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, as a Nabi, a prophet. Hazur says that in my view, this is badzani or ill thinking against the members of the Jamaat. This cannot be generalized. It is quite possible that the person who wrote this letter, the people who he keeps company with, the people who he mingles with due to certain circumstances may show reluctance or may have considered this view. However, these are but a few people who have been overcome by materialism. 